hey everyone welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to talk about how to fix monster high hunter wild is having an issue with crashing it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low fps drop stuck all in screen and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround so the first one is all about we have to start with a restart the steam and we have to run the steam as an administrator and that's what we have to do and we have to restart the pc so restart the steam run steam as an administrator and we have to restart the pc so first one in order to restart the steam going over here and closing the steam is not going to work so just go open the steam go over here at the top click on this one and there is an option called exit so right now you can see the steam is completely exit which means it is completely closed Right now, we need to run this Steam and we have to run it as an administrator. So search for Steam and there is an option called run as an administrator. Click on this one and go for yes. Now the Steam will be opened and will be as an administrator and we have to launch the game from the Steam once it is launched back on. Now once the Steam is successfully launched, you are fine with it. You can move to the, uh, we'll be showing you what you have to do. So once the Steam is successfully launched like this, you can see the Steam is successfully launched. Now we just need to open the steam we have to navigate to the library and from here we have to navigate to monster hunter wild now we need to launch the game and also there is one more step you can also try a restart sometimes just go over here on the start click on this one and go over here and do a restart sometimes so a simple restart can fix, fix a lot of trouble so we have to start with a simple restart next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder we need to run the game in the compatibility mode and we have to run it as an administrator. So just go over here, go to the uh, game, right click and go to the properties, install it file and just click on the browse. Right now you can see this is this PC. So uh, the game is installed on E, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here navigate to Monster Hunter Wilds benchmark. Now from here we have to launch the game. So this is the application, launch the game from here. And also we need to run the game as an administrator from the installation folder and also we need to run the game in the compatibility mode so just go over in the game installation folder let me close this go to the installation folder right click over here show more options properties in compatibility click it on run this program first click on run this program in the compatibility mode set this to windows 7 go for apply or you can set this to windows 8 go for apply click on this one run this program as an administrator Go for apply and go for ok now do this and we have to close this once it is closed we have to move to the next step that is all about so verify the game file so verify the game file just go over here right click and go to the properties install it file and just verify the game file this is going to take a lot of time so i'm gonna skip this up so the users who are having the game this will not be the demo so what i'm demonstrating you is with the demo but for the users it is going to take a lot of time because the game is having huge file so this is going to take a bunch of time. Moving to the next step is all about what we need to do is if receiving anti tamper or something went wrong error, we need to try clicking on retry. So you might be getting an error named receiving anti tamper or something went wrong error when trying launch the game. We'll be having a retry option. Keep on clicking on it and you can check whether that's going to fix the issue. Next one, we need to exit the Ryan one Vanguard from the system tray. So what we need to do is just go over here and if you see the right vanguard is running so the right vanguard is not running so if you're able to find the right vanguard from here we just need to remove it and once it is successfully removed we just need to go back and you have to check next one if you're using the reshade you need to uninstall the reshade and that's what you have to do so reshade uninstall it did work in many users so we can try this out as well next one is all about we need to remove the crash report.exe and crash report d2 from the game installation folder and we need to create a backup first so just go over here in the file explorer this pc go to local disk e steam library steam apps go to common now from here click on monster hunter wild mark benchmark 2 now from here we have to go over here we have two option that i think we have crash report.exe and crash report d2 so crash report.exe so we have to go over here so if you find the crash report dot over here you can see we find this you can delete it as well we can also remove this as well you have to delete the crash report d2 dot d2 now before deleting you have to make sure you need to take a complete backup of both you need to copy this and you have to paste it somewhere else over here you have to paste it which means you are taking a complete backup 
once it is saved over here which means the crash report and the crash dot dot is both are over here you can see it is completely taken a backup now we just need to go back and you have to delete both and once the delete is done you have to check next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to close steam go to steam folder and create a backup version of d2 file and then delete it so if you don't have version you can skip this part so just go over here in the file explorer navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to the program file x86 navigate to steam and over here if you check you'll be able to find a folder what is the name of the folder that is it is of version d2 so we need to go over here so if you're able to find any folder named version d2 so over here i'm not able to find any folder named version d2 so if i'm not able to find this particular version you need to skip this you don't have to worry if you're able to find it just take a backup and paste it on the desktop then you can delete the version d2 folder of from here moving to the next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to clear the download cache try dx11 and dx12 d3 d2 in the launch option so what we need to do is just go over here now we just need to go over here system settings go to the settings go over here in the download and if you scroll down you can see there is an option called clear download cache click on the clear download cache and go for confirm and once it is done what we need to do is it is most probably steam might be launching it back or we have to launch it from our side so just launch the steam so once the steam is successfully launched it back we are fine with it we can just get into this okay you have to select the respective one and you have to sign in back into the steam like this and once you have successfully signed back to the steam we can move to the next step next step is all about after clearing the download cache we need to try giving commands in the launch option that is dx11 now the steam is working fine we have to give a command dx11 dx12 and d3d2 so i'll be showing you that right now the steam is working fine and it is up and fine so just go over here right click go to right click and go to the properties install it file not install file go over here in the launch option first we need to give the command dx11 or if dx11 is not working we have to try with dx12 if dx12 is not working we have to start with d3d2 and that's what we have to do so d3d2 once every value is being set just go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to turn off or close vpn or uninstall the vpn if you're already using it so if you're having any kind of vpn on your system just uninstall the vpn and after the uninstalling is done try to launch the game and you have to check next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to your windows program or the windows security defender firewall so just go over here search for the control panel and we have to click on this one and from here click on system and security windows defender firewall go over here and click on allow and apport feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to monster hunter over here so right now the monster hunter is added so if you don't find it just add it and also you have to put a check on both the boxes that is private and public you have to put a check on both the boxes you have to put a check on both the boxes and both the boxes is put a check on both the boxes you have to close this and go back and try launch the game and that's what you have to do moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card which i have already did which means i have already done over here and if you check we can see that i have already giving a link in the description to the nvidia and to the amd so if you're on the nvidia just go over here select everything like the product type should be selected product series should be selected everything should be selected and we have to go for the find and if you're on the amd just go over here select everything over here and we have to go over here 5000 series go to the 5700d series and submit we have to download this one and if you're on the 64 bit and if you're on the 10 you can download this one and moving to the next step is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so what i'll do is just go over here we need to search for the graphics settings just click on this one and we have to go over here now we need to go to over here we need to add it just click on the browse we need to navigate to the installation folder this pc local disk e steam library steam apps go to common now from here we have to scroll down and navigate to monster hunter benchmark select this one and we have to add it so right now it is already added so just select this one go to the option and make sure this has been by default it might be it let windows aside change this to high performance and go for save once it is saved we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game 
Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to give the commands in the launch option which we did and also we need to close all the overlay clocking application such as MSC Afterburner, Riva Tuner, remove the undervolt, disable the steam overlay etc. Everything should be removed. So what I need to do is I'll be showing you that. Just go over here in the task manager and right click and move to the task manager. Right now you can see the lot of things running in the background. So the thing is, all these things are actually crash causing the issue for the crashing. So if you find the Discord, right click over here and go for the end the task. And if you find anything like Epic Games Launcher, you can remove it as well. So just remove all the overclocking and overlay application. Apart from this, if you find MSC Afterburner, Riva Tuner, etc. Everything can be removed from here. Once it is removed, just go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure if we have to unplug all the external devices. If anything is connected, just unplug everything and afterwards we have to try launch the game. Next one is make sure the Windows is up to date. That's very important and we need to increase the virtual memory. So what I'll do is I'll show you that. These are some of the basic steps which is not much important. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one. Go to the advanced, go to the settings and go to the advanced, go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. In my case it is E, so I have to select E and go to the custom size. Give the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So the initial size is over here you can see it is total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculator. So just go over here and search for a calculator like this and we have to click on this one. Now we need to type the RAM of your computer. So the RAM of my computer is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and I have to multiply it with 1.5. So that is 49152 and I have to copy this. Now I have to go to the maximum size that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. So once every value is being set, just close this and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to go over here and we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here into the game, go to the manage and uninstall the game. But while reinstalling it back, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. Right now the game is on E, so I have to try either D or C and that's what I have to do. So these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos. Have a nice day. Bye bye.